He did it. He did it. When I saw what the song was, who he was covering, who did the original song, I was actually in disbelief. And it wasn't just like for a second like, oh, I don't believe it. Like, it took me a full five minutes to be like, no, no, he's not. Here we are. We are about to watch him co cover and claim a Spice Girl song. Now, if you grew up in the 90s, you could not turn a corner, you couldn't turn on the radio, you couldn't turn on the TV, open a book, you name it, without seeing the Spice Girls. To say they were like the biggest thing would be a complete understatement. They had toys, like dolls, dresses, they had candy. From what I remember, they had bubblegum, suckers, and they were like these, they weren't pop rocks, but they were like pop rocks. I forget what they were called. They had literally every single mer piece of merchandise, whatever you want to call it. I guess food is in a merchandise. It would not surprise me if they had Spice Girls like underwear well I guess they did like condoms they like they were I'm gonna go on record and say they were bigger than the Backstreet Boys they had their own movie and it wasn't just a little indie film it had Meatloaf in it uh Elton John was in it um Oh, what the hell is his name? The guy that played Boris in uh, Goldeneye. I forget his name. They had um, Roger Moore. Like, that movie, like, was a fucking big deal when it came out. But anyway, I want to hear this now. Before I get going, be sure to subscribe. It helps me out so much. Go. <laughs> This song alone, the like even the original one, it has such like a weird, sad mystique around it. Did he do this with Majestica? I... I think he might have done this with Majestica. It's obviously very different than that one. But... 
This is like... He could cover this with anybody. He could play this on the triangle. And it's still going to be his song. I guess it would have been Rain Seed at the time. I don't know if that was something that hit my chair or if it just clicked into place. Never mind, maybe I haven't heard it. No, go back. Okay, gorgeous. What did he say there? (laughs) 
that's my something. If somebody can lead, lead, read lips better than I can, let me know what he said there because I think he said that's my. I think he said that's either song or style. And maybe I haven't heard it. Just like it was, I don't know, certain parts. I, I feel like I've heard certain parts before. But the majority of that was fucking brand new. And it blew all of our faces off. I just... He leaves me speechless every time. Every time. That was beyond good. That was beyond perfect, epic, name something, and that was beyond it. That's not their song. Once again, that's not their song anymore. That is now his. God. I really wish that was on Spotify. I wish all of his stuff was on Spotify. I like he would have a playlist of his own but that was the chosen one Tommy O'Hanson covering Viva Forever by the Spice Girls and that was the very definition of a power metal song he did it again Every week, Tommy, don't ever stop, please. But that's it for now. That's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. God, I need to listen to that 50 more times.